the realm of the mystic is so vast and working with the wisdom of animals has been just as much if not a little bit more um, has brought more clarity and wisdom and magic into my own life but if you want to know what spirit animal is with you you can ask for a dream you can meditate and see if, if one shows up in your meditation you can also just start paying attention people might start talking about a specific animal or you see one on a commercial or you actually have a, a real-life interaction with one in fact, any time you have the privilege of touching any part of nature, it is a very good idea for you to pay very close attention. Don't take for granted maybe the spider in your bathroom. I always like to just remind people that the universe is always talking to us. The universe is always communicating to us, whether it be through our angels or through numbers or, th or through animals. And so um, keep your eyes open. For the month of November, I've chosen the bison to be our spirit animal to work with. There's so many reasons why I chose this beautiful animal. Um, in the spirit of November, the bison really um, brings to us the, the energy of manifesting and enjoying the fruits of our labors, which is kind of like what November is. It's the last harvest, right? It's the final harvest. It's the season that our ancestors would be, um, you know, taking down the rest of the crops and having their big, huge, awesome, abundant dinners and, and festivals and just celebrating all of the work that has been done. And that is definitely the energy of the bison. The other energy that they bring forth is gratitude for all that we have worked for and received. Um, when you look at a herd of bison, they look very intimidating. Um, they're huge, they're clunky, they're big. Um, you know, I, I had a, a, the honor and the privilege to study underneath a professional wildlife photographer many years ago, and I had the opportunity to get up close and personal with a lot of animals, like the bear and, um, you know, a lot of bigger animals in the wildlife. And um, I got to spend a lot of time in herds of bison. What I, one of the first things that would stand out to anybody is the fact that they're so big and clunky and, and just they're huge, they're massive, they're dense, and you can hear them walk on the earth if you're close enough. But even with as big and massive as they are, they can freaking run. Like, they can run fast, and you can hear a herd coming from miles away. It sounds like thunder. And so, um, we can really take in that, that energy that they are and put it all together by saying this. What we can learn from the bison is steady hard work step by step steady hard work leads us to creating and manifesting what we want and when we need to make those really big moves to not be afraid to just go for it and to be loud and to be seen and it's okay to make those big strong moves um, you know move your herd or move your energy anytime you need to you don't have to tiptoe around things you can be obvious you can put yourself out there and be big and massive like the, the bison. The other thing that um, I noticed about the bison is that if they have a choice of what path to take through an area, they always take the easiest one. And so if you're sitting there trying to complicate a situation in your life, the energy of the bison can teach you it's okay to choose easy. Choose the easiest path and that actually helps you manifest and it helps you in that spirit of gratitude, like, oh, I'm so glad I'm getting this done, and it's so easy. So you can ask yourself right now, as we're bringing in the spirit of the bison, what is the easiest thing for me to do? Um, what would take me out of struggle? Um, so there's a story that the Lakota tell about a white, they call her the white buffalo woman. She appeared to them out of nowhere one day when they were struggling, and she taught them this concept of taking the right path and taking the right action and making big bold moves so that they could find the herd of, of bison to to supply their their people with and she basically taught them how to survive based on those principles and so um you know you can look up the the white buffalo woman you can read about her a little bit more i just am bringing that information here for you um but the, that those principles of taking the right path, making the right actions, making big, bold moves, and attaining what it is, you know, getting to the destination that you need to get to in a really bold, 
massive buffalo way is, is something to also consider. About 15 years ago, I had the bison come into my space, um, the, the spirit of the bison to teach me lessons on gratitude and thankfulness. Um, and this is how it happened with me. And I want to share with you the story so that, to just really open you up to all the possibilities that can happen when you start to work with animal medicine. Um, I had had a dream about a buffalo. Um, well, a herd of buffalo. I had a dream that I was walking along these plains um, and there was just massive buffalo everywhere. And um, I turned around and there was one very close to me and I, I reached my hand out to touch his head and I woke up. And I woke up that morning, I mean, this was about 15-ish years ago. I woke up and I was like, okay, cool, I got you know a dream about a buffalo, I'll look that up later. Kind of put it on the back burner. Had to get up, get my son off to school and so on. And so I put him in the car, we go to school and I'm dropping him off and I'm waving goodbye to him. And um, all of a sudden I hear this big kaboom on the front of my car, like the hood of my car. And I look over and there's this huge buffalo head look, like staring into my windshield. And of course I'm screaming my head off. Well, what it was was some kid wanted to take a buffalo head, a taxidermed buffalo head to school for show and tell, was carrying this thing, couldn't see my car and tripped and fell and the whole thing fell on my, the hood of my car. But you can see how like scary and frightened I was like there's a buffalo like all of a sudden on my car. So I get out and I help him and his dad runs out of the car and was like, oh, I should have helped him and anyway. So I got back in my car and I was a little shooken up because I just had a dream about a bison and I'm going, um, yeah, I should probably look this up and meditate on this animal before I end up with a live one in my backyard. <laughs> so that's how persistent animal medicine can be or the spirit of an animal can be to try to get your attention. Just like your angels can be persistent too, so can the spirit of the animals. So I went home and did a bunch of research and learned the story of the white buffalo woman and learned what they represented and then did my own meditation to really connect to that animal. And in that meditation, anything can happen, right? This buffalo was talking to me, bison, buffalo. Um, and it told me that it's through my gratitude that I'm able to manifest more. It's, it's that old adage, you know, like it, when, once you're really grateful for something, more happens, more comes. Um, and he showed me again uh, the Lakota in the fact that they were so grateful for everything that they had. Whenever um, you know they were able to bring a buffalo back and feed their tribe, there was so much gratitude, and it was their great their gratitude and their thankfulness that created ease and flow with you know finding those herds and being able to survive. So there's a lot here, and but I want you to know that the theme of the bison is taking right action, taking the simplest action, right, the, the, the easy way, um, being strong and powerful when you do need to take action, reaping the benefit of your harvest, um, enjoying maybe the hunt of getting what you want, um, and then being extremely grateful for everything that you have. That to me just really rings well with you know, like I said, autumn with, with the season that we're in right now where everybody is in their own personal lives um, reaping what they sow. And so I hope that the strength and the assuredness and the right path shows up for you as you work with buffalo bison medicine and um, take all of the, the easy right paths to everything that you want. Don't be afraid to be big and massive and to let people hear you coming when you're ready to take those steps. All right, you guys, as always, I am sending you so much love and light and everything right. Angel blessings. Blessings for the bison.